Voting commenced at the dome venue of the Ondo State All Progressive Congress gubernatorial primary in Akure, while Governor Yahya Bello, the chairman of the APC primary election, maintained that 12 aspirants were vying through indirect primary for the ticket. Three had announced they had stepped down for Governor Oluwarotumi Akaredolu. Those who stepped down hours before the primary include Ife Oyedele, Abraham Olushegun, and Jimmy Odimayo. Governor Bello, who had said the primary was in fulfillment of the party's constitution, recalled that he had interacted with all the aspirants on Sunday. The chairman also explained that he had inspected the venue and was satisfied with the ongoing exercise. Joining us now is Olufem Lawson, who is at the venue of the primary as an election observer. Thank you for joining us. It's my pleasure. Please bring us up to speed on uh, the situation now, what you've observed so far. Well, uh, so far so good. The conduct of the primaries, uh, government primary by the All Progressive Congress has been peaceful. The conduct of the old aspirants and, uh, of course, the delegates of the election have been so impressive. There have been a lot of us trading, and uh, of course, just like you know, you know some your aspirants in the context, of and uh, of course, the race is just set for, for about eight hundred aspirants, who out of whom a winner would be matched. Uh, can you hear me, Mr. Lawson? Yeah, clear. Okay, so quickly, how is the stepping down of the uh, four aspirants turning out for both the incumbent and the um, strong contenders? Are there other strong contenders as well? Well, I think I want um, to say it this way. Of the three uh, notable, uh, four notable aspirants that have stepped down, uh, two major contenders, engineer, and uh, Mr. Jimmy O'Hara, who were considered to also enjoy some very good support from delegates across the state. So their decision to withdraw and support the authority in the election has greatly boosted you know, the, the chances of the governor to be re-elected not only as the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, but he has also, has also brightened the chance you know, of being really elected as governor of all those things, because these are aspirants that have strong political base, you know, in their various localities. So this has greatly impacted positively on the chances of Governor Akredo more than uh, any other aspirant in the race. What is the security situation around the dome? Because there were concerns, you know, different aspirants, different people who had, uh, you know, issues with how the process was being uh, conducted. Well, you know, in every process, I've always witnessed a situation where some person will be disgruntled, will be dissatisfied, because it's the context of so many, you know, people. But that has not in any way undermined the city arrangement, you know, of the of, of the Congress because uh, it has been impressed the presence of policemen and the delegate themselves majority have been so orderly in their conduct. So that has prevented any major you know, fracas from taking place at, at the end of this process. All right, Mr. Olufemi, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news and bringing us up to speed on the ongoing exercise in Ondo State. It's my pleasure.